Whoa! Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back the next day, the next day, next day. Especially if you like watching somebody who's blonde and eats Fritos. We're gonna have leftovers for dinner, and we still don't know what we're gonna do. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. So, today's the first of the month, which in the world I work in, being a data a manager for data analysts, um, first day of the month, I'm just full of, I literally do reports all day long, and because most of our resorts were closed the entire month of April, the resort, the reports were crazy. So my day literally like got started, and it was like <sighs> over. So I'm glad the work day is over, and it's a weekend now. You know nothing like some Frito scoops with some 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 bean dip and some leftover soup. No, we're gonna make walking tacos. Oh yeah, that's right. We're making walking tacos. I'm so sorry. Would you like some ranch? Yes, please. She's kind of mad at us right now. What did we just attempt to do? Shave her butt. We tried shaving her butt. We can't tell if she's having like rear end issues because she has typically, we typically get her a, an allergy shot every two months during this but time of the year. She hasn't really needed it. But we can't tell if she's got like stomach issues or long yeah, hair. It, it kind of feels right like it's beginning there. Maddie back there or allergies. But we tried it and she's kind of mad at us right now. You okay? Do you trust us? Nope. Whenever the windows are open, even just a little, he's obsessed with them. What? I want to do something fun. Trying to figure out what we're doing for Friday night. We need to do the dishes. We need to work on our ACS book. We need to watch Thor. We need to go to Target. I think that'll be tomorrow. Yeah, I think we decided tomorrow's What about Target. our baby registry? I think that's... Tomorrow, too. Tomorrow, too. It's just so nice out right now. I want to like frolic through a field. But we can't. I want to frolic down Main Street is what I want to do. Yeah, for real. So it's like, do we watch Thor right now? I think I could do the dishes while Sarah works on the book. But I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, not right away. So it's like, we got to figure out what we're going to do now compared to later. I got up from the couch like this. <laughs> Alright, we're going to chill and listen to some music and just level our heads from the crazy day for 30 minutes and then I think we're just gonna probably dive into like the designing and the dishes and so we can finish the night with fun stuff. I'm curious if she's gonna follow. She's pretty content and that's what we're gonna do because it's chilly and it feels great. It's the perfect relaxing vibes. Do you, do you agree, disagree, or are you uncertain? I agree but I wish we were going to go in a hammock. She asked for a hammock for her birthday. I call them hammocks. She calls them hammocks. Please let us know what you pronounce down below. And I told her we could get a hammock if we get rid of our bed. Cause she's like, I, we are, I was like, we have an apartment. We don't have anywhere to put it. She's like, we could put it in our room. And I was like, if we get rid of our bed, you can get a hammock. She hasn't given an answer yet. So I think she's honestly contemplating it. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, my it is now 8.16. We took that little rest too soon after eating dinner and Ended up lasting a little longer than expected. That's okay, it's the weekend, that's what it's for. Um, we're just gonna get up at 7 instead said 7.30. I got up at 7.30, I just kinda like laid, chilling until well, a few minutes ago, now it's 8.15. But we've been avoiding the dishes again, so that's where my evening's going to start is. Working on the dishes.
there's nothing, there's very few better feelings, I think, than looking at your counter and your sink after you do the dishes. It's just so clean and you did all that work. Now I'm in our, in our closet, which is a, could use some tidying up, but I put all my running stuff in here and we got a package from the feed. I did an order the other day of some more of our goos. And we've gone over this before, but I use the gels from Martin's. Really good. Really good. So they've got this gel 100 Martin's in like the gray. And then they've got gel, Martin's gel 100, 100 caffeinated. I got a 12 pack, which was a six and six. And look, I got a, I got a, a moss green water bottle, water bottle like I did before. Um, so I just restocked on those because I was out of all my good ones and I had some few leftover typical goos. Um, I take those out when I go for more than 10 miles. Um, and I love the packaging. Look at this right here. Handpicked by an athlete in Boulder, Colorado. So I put those in this here. This is like my little running shelf. I've got salt tablets, all my metals, poncho with a guard in it, Sarah's bells. I'm just gonna open this up here. I'm gonna toss all those in there. Call it a day. I got my KT tape, got some lights in here, I got my body light. And this is just good and ready for when morning's coming. I need to go on my long runs and I need some some goose. This has never ha it happened before. I had the thought of holding her down and like brushing with the fine brush her her behind because maybe it was getting matted and she didn't like that at first but then I started doing this to the rest of her and I slowly started like easing up and she didn't go anywhere and I was like Sarah look at and then she laid down this is my concern of why it might be allergies is because she's still biting other parts of her body yeah but if we can make her comfortable otherwise yeah until we can get to the vet we're gonna call the vet tomorrow yeah Dogs are babies too. Just getting ready. Do like this. <laughs> Almost the both of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe not this fast, but Eve likes a good thrill. She looks sleepy. But if we put her down, she starts getting irritated. Well, it wasn't looking good for me after taking almost a two hour nap. But I came out here, worked on the World Marathon Challenge booklet. I finished just like our introduction page, which is only two pages in the whole book. We're having 12 pages in the book, but it's the most content that we have to come up with ourselves because the other pages will be a little bit more informational. Um, and I will be using text that is like used by the American Cancer Society. And so tomorrow I'm going to work on that spread and then we'll have the World Marathon Challenge spread and then the final spread will like list out the ways that um, different companies can sponsor us. So we have, like we're not quite halfway there yet, but the rest of the content is like laid out well for us. Um, so we're going to work on that over the weekend. What else are we going to do this weekend? We're going to go to the P.O. Box. Um, we're going to, I have some medication that I need to pick up over the weekend. Um, and Peter is going to, well, and I'm going to help him. Um, we're going to like lay out our big like introduction video for the World Marathon Challenge probably on Sunday. So it's nice, like even though these were like small steps that like we took today, like I feel like that gets you motivated to keep it going and not be overwhelmed by it all. And so now it is finally time for our movie, which is Thor, The Dark World. What time is it, Peter? 10.30. It's 10.30. <laughs> um, but it's just under two hours, so I'll watch this and then go to bed. Yeah. And, then you can and we had our little power nap, yeah. so we're not as like, we're not. Exhausted. Yeah. So we put lavender oil on Eve's collar and she feels very betrayed, but I also think it's working, so hopefully, hey, she looked the ground. Yes. I'm so sorry, honey, please don't, 
Please don't be mad at me forever. I forgot exactly how good Thor Dark World is and how the post credit scene sets up the Infinity Gauntlet so well and it's the first time they speak the words Infinity Stone in the Marvel movies. It is just like, for a 2013 point in Marvel's history, just like, it does, it's so good. But it's not 12.30 in the morning, we have to go to bed. Today is May 1st, that means double readings. First of all, the first one is by Mel Brooks. If you're alive, you got to flap your arms and legs. You got to jump around a lot. You got to make a lot of noise because life is the very opposite of death. And therefore, as I see it, if you're quiet, you're not living. You've got to be noisy, or at least your thoughts should be noisy and colorful and lively. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> The Daily Message is by Robert Brault. Sometimes we can't find the thing that will make us happy because we can't let go of the thing that was supposed to. Deep. Deep. That one might have been my favorite so far. Of all of them? I think. It's really good. Because I feel like the best thing you could do for me in a movie is have a storyline where I'm not going to put together all the pieces in my head before it happens. And to like have that element of like surprise and unknown and thoughtfulness and all of that stuff. So um, I really liked it. And I love Loki. I was gonna say, you're Sarah's biggest enemy in the entire world is Loki. Do but you love him, but you hate I him. Lo I don't. You don't trust him. I know. You can't trust him for more than you can throw him. I know like you can never trust him, but I pull for him at like my deepest heart at the same time. And, and you so, know what happens to Loki in the end. Yeah, the but end like end. I do trust him as a human, <laughs> but I don't think that, I don't know, I don't think that anyone that he interacts with should trust him. So I don't have to worry about it because I want to interact with him. <laughs> so you think about that. Can you trust Sarah if she trusts Loki? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>